So what the automatic transfer switch does for you is that it will, depending on whether or not the grid is available, it will switch between the grid as your main power source or the alternate power source, which is in this situation, it would be your generator. So an automatic transfer switch has two inputs. And then depending on the parameters that you set in the ATS, in the automatic transfer switch, it would decide to allow either way the power from the, the grid or from the generator to be fed towards your local grid, towards your consumers, right? So I want to go online and I'm going to the website of Victron Energy. I'm not affiliated with Victron Energy, but I just want to show you a possible product here. Um, so I'm here on their website and I want to go to products. So let's click on products. And I'm looking here on the right hand side in the column of others and let's click there on transfer switches. So we are in the transfer switches and I've been there before so I know what I want to look at. I want to look at the second one, so the Filex 2 transfer switch. Okay, so here we are, the Filex 2 transfer switch ultra fast it is that's what they claim and when we scroll down here we can see that it's available in two models so that both the 230 and the 110 and uh, also the 50 versus 60 hertz frequencies now i want to go to the specification sheet so let's download the specification sheet and open it in a new window so here we are in the specification sheet so let's scroll down right away to that overview where you can actually find all the important information so this transfer switch will be connected to two inputs so your grid and a generator and it can provide power it has one output which will be towards your loads towards your local ac grid so what it will do is it will normally activate your primary source normally your grid all right let him shut up for a second i just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems if this information is enough for you great if you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course then check the information in the description below all right you go ahead again and then based on three set parameters it will decide whether it will switch between the grid or your generator. So let's assume you're running a 110 volt, 50 hertz system. So look in this column and you can see here that it will switch from your grid towards your generator if it hits the low voltage switching threshold. And if it's lower than, if it's equal or lower than 88 volts, it should switch towards your generator. It will also switch if the frequency is lower than 45 hertz which by the way is really really low um, having a voltage slightly out of the parameters is troublesome but not as troublesome as having your um, frequency out of these set parameters so this will switch between your primary and your secondary source if the frequency is below 45 hertz or if the frequency is too high if it is 62 hertz or higher then it will also switch towards your generator now they claim that it, an, that it is an ultra fast transfer switch and it is pretty fast because it says it's 16 milliseconds. So 16 milliseconds is 0.016 seconds. So that is pretty fast, which is equal to one divided by 60 Hertz, which is exactly 0.01 seconds or 16 milliseconds. Okay, so those are a couple of values. Now let's look at the bottom left here. I want to have a look at the uh, the connection terminals of this ATS. So let's zoom in a little bit and turn it to the left so that it will be a little bit easier to uh, to understand. So here you can see what I just explained in theory, right? So these are the connection terminals of the ATS and you connect your uh, grid to the first one, to your priority. You could connect your generator to the second one, to your alternate. So those are your two inputs with your life, your neutral and your earth. And then you have one output which goes towards your loads. Okay, so that was a bit of a real life example. So you can have a bit of an idea of the components that you could consider for your system. So, but now you understand what an energy storage system is.